why you should drain your washing machine into a standpipe rather than the utility sink. Most of the time you'll have your washing machine hose go into the sink called a standpipe. It's a tall piece of pipe that connects to a two inch P-trap. Now usually this will be right next to the utility sink. In this case, my washing machine drain goes along the wall, connects to a combo fitting, that connects the washing machine drain to the utility sink drain, and then that goes down to the main drain line for the whole house. That's the easiest and most common way to set this up. But a lot of times people forget the standpipe and they'll install the hose directly into the utility sink. Now this can be very frustrating sometimes. A lot of times I like to plug the sink, fill the sink up, wash something off, but I can't do that if this hose is running. If this hose is dumping water and the sink is plugged, it's going to back up onto the floor. Another issue is it's very hard to secure this hose to the utility sink. Now the previous owner installed a musty fiberglass tub. And then the hose bolted directly to the tub and that could make the tub chip and crack. I also was looking at a home and someone drilled a hole into the utility sink, fed their hose through, and they caulked around it. And it looked terrible and I don't know why they did that. But you can see how hard it is it's to, to secure the hose to the sink. It can also make the sink look dirty. Think about it, you have all that water going into the sink, it's just going to turn the sink gray. Now when there's an old fiberglass tub here, since this is a side that was being used, the whole bottom of the tub was gray, and the other side that wasn't being used was perfectly clean. So you can see how many advantages there are by using the standpipe. 